So I went down to Harrods today onto the tech department store asking one of the staff what are the latest earbuds they have. So he showed me all these flashy earbud collections such as Sony XM4 and Bose and etc. And among them there stood out one of the chunkiest and one of the cheapest uh, earbud called the Phoenix Solar. So this is from a company called Urbanista. I never heard of a brand called Urbanista but I'm sure they're very good because Harris are selling them. So the reason this is one of the chunkiest is because it comes with a solar panel charging system and I believe the technology is called the power foil. So technically if you live in a country that you get plenty of sunlight you do not need to charge your earbuds ever because uh, the solar panel is going to charge it for you so you can carry with it all the time and so on. So this comes with noise cancelling function but if you download the app you can also monitor the battery levels and track light charging performance and history and select from six EQ presents as well. So uh, this actually comes with a transparency mode and 34 hours of battery reserves and noise reduction microphone, automatic in-ear detections and water resistance of IPX4 which is pretty low comparing to the latest standards and a Bluetooth of 5.2 which is pretty good. So uh, you see the screenshot on the back side it, when you actually open up the lid it actually looks like Apple sort of uh, earbuds and so on but you know said so let's get into the unboxing so here it goes so let's take out the paper cover oh actually so there's the thing that you need to pull out to be able to open up oh here we have it folks so this is the actual unit so that's the size comparing to the size of my uh, hand so this is the a quick start guide and this is just the warranty guide we got the um, ear plugs spares on the different sizes you know this is not actually the usb c cable but for your almost like a necklace sort of key ring function isn't it uh, we got the rather short usb c cable okay if we were to rather tear this out we got the actual case here so you can see the power foil which is technically the solar panel i mean if you focus that you can feel rather soft card uh, cardboard kind of feel um, and also a bit of a friction but almost plain and the writing uh, so if you were to open it up that's how it comes out and this is the uh, in-ear sensor and um, pretty good quality I have to say I'm quite impressed with the text of Urbanista on it and uh, quite light as well so I believe this is for the um, Bluetooth connection isn't it and and so on that's where you charge your uh, USB-C if you need it and also for the um, if you want to wear it as a necklace or a key ring, that's where you could put on those uh, straps early on. So here's the app that shows that the earbud is now connected to my Z Flip 4 and you can see that the EQ is now on to default. The battery level is actually 87% and both earbuds is 100% fully charged. Uh, you can also go for ANC and transparency mode, but if you were to scroll on the right hand side, at the moment because the um, panel is actually um, hidden there's none but if I were to get this close to this bright light for vlogging uh, and so on you get 0.1 ma uh, so there are some apparently uh, lighting that could be used to charge uh, the earbuds and so on but if you were to just put it on a natural sort of living room lighting you virtually get it none so probably I'll try out for the uh, actual natural uh, sunlight later on but if we were to uh, scroll it actually shows the light charging history um, and also the EQ presents as well and lastly the settings and so on so that's pretty cool yeah so um, obviously there is no wireless charging function. I mean, thinking about it, why would it? Because we already have the uh, solar panel charging function anyway. So not a big deal, but wireless charging doesn't work. So I'm placing this right up against the oven light. And as you can see, we got a very good 
a gain of a 3.4 milliamp hourly gain. So I guess this simulates a typical sunny day, uh, but I actually wonder how you can actually achieve up to excellent or perfect um, and what sort of circumstance. But this is pretty good actually, free energy for you. So we've got a typical cloudy day in Britain as usual and the battery gain for this sort of weather is either 0.4 or 0.5 milliamp hour. So that is quite interesting indeed. So you do get some, but I guess that's very little. So if you're living in Britain, I don't think it's that practical at all um, because it's 0.4 milliamp hour. If you do the calculation, it's going to take ages to reach the level of the battery that is required. One thing I do want to highlight is that if you close the lid, then you automatically get disconnected from the app. But does that mean that it's still charging or not is something I couldn't figure out because you're automatically disconnected from your app, which doesn't tell you how much you gain you're making. So we're going to do a sound test on the Urbanista Phoenix Solar Earbuds on my sound testing device called Brov here by playing the track called The Sunshine by an artist called Top Gen. So here it goes. So I got the app opened up and as you can see it's on the ANC mode. So if I go to default, yeah so it's not as good as obviously Sony XM4 because it's one of the best but it feels like half effect and the um, transparency mode it's not quite uh, the transparency either. So it's like a half way of transparency. You still feel like you're cut off from the world. The EQ presents, there's default, speech, bass, treble boost, energizer and balance. So if I go for default, yeah, so speech is a bit more, less of a um, bass, bass boost. Okay, so treble boost is slightly better than bass boost. I think I'll go for the Energize and Balance is a bit weak. So yeah, so the Energize is pretty good. Okay, so the beat is actually not as strong. Okay, it sort of spreads out and I wish the treble was slightly more sharper. So basically what I've done is I went to the um, EQ settings and um, I basically change it to the default equalizer sound to not normal but rock because there's more stronger on the treble and also on the bass so I think that kind of works very well so if you change the default uh, sound to the uh, equalizer to rock and then if you change the actual app setting to energize then i think you're pretty good so that's my opinion on that this is a microphone test for the urbanista phoenix solar so i can see the actual recording itself 
on the on my app is that it's pretty high but in fact when i listen to the recording sound itself i can see the actual sharpness is lacking a bit but it's it's all right actually you can understand um what you're saying or i guess this is exactly how um it's going to sound like when someone calls you on the phone so uh, not as clear as i expected but pretty good so far so i couldn't actually find the battery size of the actual earbuds in the um, case but when i actually looked on the official urbanista website it says the earbud itself has 45 milliamp hour and 400 milliamp for charging case so that's kind of like the average i would say so based on my test if you're based on a rather sunny area i would expect you will get about um, four to five maximum milliamp per hour of charging so if you think about that you, you get what like nine hours of sunlight every day um, so based on that calculation the maximum you can achieve is actually charging the earbud itself of 45 or maybe a bit more but you're not really going to achieve within a day with the absolute brilliant sunlight to be able to charge the actual case itself so um it's it's a nice try but i don't think it's that practical to be honest with you and especially if you're in uk with all these ongoing uh cloudy uh, weather unfortunately i can't demonstrate to you a um sunny day experience of how much of a milliamp that you, you can charge for the actual case um, but i guess it's not practical for uk uh, especially for this weather um, i have to say though the actual quality of the build is really nice it fits really well on your ears and the plastic i really like the plastic itself i love the color actually it's like a light cream color and also the the sound of it as i actually um, described early on that the base itself seems to be not concentrating to you but it's like spreading out all over the place while as the treble itself uh, seems to be a bit weak it's like a bit blocked out it needs to be gushed out a bit more so that's why I decided to go for the EQ original EQ setting on my phone to rock so that those elements could be enhanced so once I did that settings I'm pretty happy with the um, actual sound quality overall um, regards to the ANC uh, it's again it's like halfway of effect of Sony XM4 it's not quite that strong you can still hear the bit of a surrounding but it's trying kind of feel uh, regards to the actual transparency it's not quite open up either and between each sound um, EQ uh, presents is you can hardly find a difference. You got to really concentrate it to see the difference. Um, but I would definitely recommend you go for the energized sound uh, setting. So overall though, I mean, for the price of 150 British pounds, I would say it's a really good uh, earbud with a nice quality. I know it's reasonably uh, chunky size, but if the best feature that I have to say for this whole thing is that you can use it as a necklace. So if you wear it like this, you could technically constantly charge it when there's sunlight happening as well. So a lot of careful thoughts, but if they could hopefully enhance the treble side and concentrate on the boost, um, I think it would be much better. And also if they could find a way to enhance the uh, technology where it could gather more energy, milliamp hour, that would be even better as well. So I hope this video sort of demonstrates to you what this earbud is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lgb tech all the best bye bye